And open! Day three, here we go. I still want to focus on switching to the armors. And we'll still have the health potions. These are going to be kind of our get people in the door type thing. And hopefully they'll buy additional items. After today, we should not only have the cash, but also the, the skill points to be able to start uh, purchasing some medium items, which will be weapons, armor, or like, not armor, like shields and stuff like that. Ooh, trash is full. Unfortunately, nothing in there of note. All right, we can just sit here and wait for a minute. Uh, what is our... We're at 69%, all right. Now, we did get up to that 70 the one day. I'm just wondering if 70 may be the default, and it's just... Yeah, 70 might be the default. I always thought it was 69 because that's what I would always wind up being at whenever I'm managing my shop. We do have 62 gold. That is enough to technically buy. Although I kind of want my skill points. Let's go ahead and let's buy two fire resist potions and then we'll just sell them to random people on the streets. Doesn't really matter who we sell it to, everyone always pays the same price. Let's do that. Awesome. Let's do that. Offer. Kapow! All right, so we got another two sales down. Now, we're not making a lot of money off these. If we actually want to make a little bit more cash, we'd be better off selling the armors because of the fact that, uh, you know, higher price point. So, you know, more money when you're adding 10%. But I want to get the quest done. So that's more important to me than anything else. And it looks like we have some people that are actually going to wander in. That's awesome. Ooh, two people. Two customers. Look at that. Now I'm making the monies. Oh, three people. Oh, yeah. There we go. Armor's being bought. That is, that is awesome. Let's get uh, some more boots, two sets of gloves. So we should be at what, like 11 or so? 10, okay. Now the game does seem a little slow right at the very start, and it is, it really is. But the thing is, is that as you add more potential things to sell, It'll, it'll pick up a lot more, and it actually gets a little hectic at times. It's just right now, because of the fact you only have a handful of items, uh, you only have a handful of people coming at any given point in time. So it's manageable. Right now it's actually quite manageable, but it does borderline uh, being a little dull. But there is plenty more stuff to do in the game than just this. There's actually a whole crafting and uh, home growing component to this as well. It'll take a while before we've unlocked it, because we need the skill points for it. I'm thinking, let's go ahead and let's do this. Three more fire resist potions. running a little low on health potions so let's grab one of those as well that's all I can afford Woo 
All right, so now it's going to hit daytime. Things should pick up a little because now we actually have a decent number of items. We've got, what, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 items. So hopefully we're going to start seeing a handful of people pop in here at a time. And I am going to prep with... Do I want a sick? Hey, you know what? I want more gloves. More money. More money is always good. He looks shady. I don't know why he just does, but no, he actually... No, no, he, uh, he picked up the stuff. He looked at the price tag and was like, screw this, and just threw them on the ground. All right, let's just put that back up here. Now you'll notice there's some cracks in the bookshelf. This is indicating that the fact that it's actually getting worn down. So switch to the hammer. And we'll see it's down to 59% now. It'll survive for still some time. But we can just do that since we can. Just to make sure everything is all up to snuff. Oh, she decided she did not want to purchase the fire resist potion. Three. There you go, and that person bought two things. He bought a health potion and, I believe, a pair of boots. So, we already are getting some benefits from that plus one perk. Now, it is also possible they can purchase something and then try to steal something, because on their second attempt, it does the whole, you know, decide whether or not they should they are mad about the price and are just going to try to steal it. So, you do have to watch out. Even paying customers can become thieves. Mm, look at those resist potions going. Alright, we're at 14 now. Thank you. more gloves. Three should be enough. But now we're actually getting some decent money. So now we're actually going to be able to start moving on to the next phase at the end of this day. And that's going to be starting to be able to, to put down some, some bigger items that are worth far more money. How close are we? We are at 14 or 20 still. Alright. sales oh yeah I see now it being daytime see see the stuff's really beginning to to move forward for me now and we are level five I just noticed that Still got a decent number of fire resist potions, but we are running a little low in health potions. So buy some more. three more they are uh, they're going like hotcakes right now is it a hot item it's not the wooden shield is so if I actually had the ability to sell shields we would actually be making a ton of cash right now oh dear god we're running out of stuff to sell these people oh 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 
See, there's a guy. He bought the uh, he bought my boots fair and square, and then he turned around and tried to steal a health potion. Oh no! I would have I would have given you the potion for free if you'd asked. Now I'm having problems picking this up. This is a bug. Uh, just in this area. Oop. It's just with where it is right there. It is possible to get it. I just can't right now. So let's just quickly restock because we're almost out of items. We're at 514 gold. That's amazing. All right, let's uh, get some boots. There we go. Alright, since we're getting more sales too, we are leveling up a little bit faster, and we should get more skill points a little bit faster too. We're at 34 again. Awesome. Now the first thing I'm really going to want to go for is 100 skill points, uh, and then I'm going to unlock engineering for that, and I'll explain why that's all amazing soon enough. So now if I was smart, I would actually take one of these gloves off, put them over there, and put the boots down. Which is actually kind of what I'm going to do. Because the gloves can go on the table or on the, uh, the shelf, but the boots can only go on the table. Ooh. I was there just watching you. Absolutely no style. No sense of risk. need to buy more fire resist potions too as that last one just got sold let's buy there we go seven should be fine for now but see now that we're selling the armors we're actually making a lot more cash which is exactly what I need and our bookshelf is already beginning to die again Let's repair you. Now I'm gonna save the rest of the cash that I have uh, for the the build cycle because I want to buy two things. Uh, one is going to be a table, like a, a counter. I think it's what it's called. And the second will be an armor stand. And that will allow me then to have shields, weapons, and chest pieces available. And pants, technically. Pants as well. I don't know if pants will be unlocked, though, right away. All these people coming in looking for gloves. You're making me want to buy more. Ah, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll buy a couple. Just don't tell anyone I did this. The whole saving money thing, that was totally a strategy. And, oh, we're done our quest. Nice. Uh, let's go with that one. Because we'll be able to sell stuff tomorrow. Twenty-five seconds. We're almost out of here. Eight hundred and four gold. Look at that. We're rich. We're absolutely rich now. All 
All right. They are done. All right, so then we can look at building again. All right, so there's the table. That holds a single medium, uh, medium item. I'm going to ignore getting those right now, and instead I'm going to get this bad boy, the counter, because it holds two medium items, and it holds nine small items, so it's almost the same as a shelf, and it also includes two tables. Uh, it is definitely more expensive, but it's definitely more convenient, too. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to put this bad boy right there. Stay on the ground, young man. <laughs> oh, right. You can't jump in this game, so every time you try to jump... What are you doing? Jumping's not gonna make you any It money. yells at you about it. There we go. So two counters should be enough for now. Um, I did say I was gonna buy... Uh, can I actually do the hat stands yet, or did I not unlock No, I have not unlocked it. I don't know if I have the stuff to unlock it yet. Let's take a look here. Uh, armor and hat rack. Oh, I guess I can. Well, there you go. Just like that. In fact, actually, let's take this opportunity. I know I said I want 100 things, but I would actually rather get the extra profit first because that will help us get more skill points in the long run anyways. All right, so now we can buy... Uh, an armor rack. There we go. Let's see if I can... That's close enough. All right, now, unfortunately, I did spend a fair amount of my cash, so I am going to be a little bit limited. But I can at least buy two medium items, and they'll be worth enough money that if they sell, I'll be able to buy a lot more stuff. So it's all good. It'll all work itself out. But it's shields and swords is going to be my primary thing today. Uh, mana potions would be a huge sale today, except I don't have druids or mages available yet. Just warriors. Warriors. 